just just long clip. The uh, you know, not announcing the starting quarterback and just saying both guys are going to play. That's you're doing that because you think it's best for your football team, not because it's going to give you some advantage against USC. You don't think they're sitting here worrying about who's no, I, I don't, I don't think USC worries about it. Uh, you know, it's just something that we want to see how our guys progress again this week. You know, there's really been no differentiator to tell us this is the guy or this is the guy. And again, both will play. So to us, you know, it's probably more of a concern for our fans and for the media on who starts. Right. They're both going to play. Well, have you made the decision who's going to start? You're not telling us? <laughs> we're going we're to make a decision on Saturday. Okay. So, you would, like Coach Ramon, you don't know already who's going to start? Uh, we, we have an inclination of who we think is going to start. Um, and, we'll, again, we'll see Saturday. I, I think I know how these guys are going to be Saturday, but if, if one of them's got a you know, glazed over look in their eyes, it may be the other one. So, both of them know they're going to play. Both of them have been apprised of the situation they've known for the last two weeks. Um, I like where we're at at quarterback. Um, but we'll see when we get live bullets how both of them handle it. Are you ready to tell us which one's going to get the first series <laughs> at quarterback? I will tell you on Saturday afternoon right before we go on. <laughs> uh, both quarterbacks will play. Uh, no matter who starts. Uh, we anticipate probably sometime in the second quarter the other quarterback will come in, and we'll see how it plays itself out. Coach, if they both play well, would you consider going to a two-quarterback system? I mean, if one guy doesn't separate himself from the other. Well, it, I guess it depends on how you define what a two-quarterback system is. Uh, you know, I, I anticipate both of them will play well, and we'll have to figure out you know, what's our, our, our best chances with each one's skill set. So. Uh, it'll be a good problem to have if that does happen, and, and uh, uh, we'll just see come Saturday, and, and, and it probably won't be settled until maybe we get into the league as to who is going to be our quarterback if there is one that really de definitely separates. When the quarterbacks, whether it's Brian or whether it's Brandon, when they're in the huddle, those guys know that's the quarterback. He's the leader right now. So uh, I, I don't think that that's an issue. Um, I'd be a little bit more concerned if Brian Burrell played like he did in the spring. I didn't think he had the command of the offense in the spring. I think a lot of that was, you know, having played in the shadow of Derek and, and wasn't quite sure that this was his team yet. But I think through the summer, he's really done a nice job of commanding the team. And I think Brandon's been in a situation where he's played four years. He knows what it takes. And, and he's had that same, you know, moxie, that same persona that when I'm in that huddle, you better listen. This is where we're going. And I'm leaving. So I like both those guys.